Hello everyone, my name is Becca and we're going to play some Minecraft. Basically, a few friends of mine and myself, it, we enjoy playing the UHC game mode and another friend of mine who has never played Minecraft before has said that she would like to join in. So this is basically going to be a, a tutorial teaching you how to go from being a complete Minecraft noob to becoming and hopefully winning a UHC series. So let's get started. Um, we're going to go right, right, right from the beginnings, tutorial style. So, WASD are the movement keys. W is forwards, S is backwards, A is strafe left, and D is strafe right. And the mouse, you move it to look around. This obviously becomes helpful when moving around. You can just press W and look around with the mouse to change direction. Uh, spacebar, as just indicated there, is jump, such as this, and those are the basic keys really. So, to as you can see, when you go over a block, it becomes highlighted with a black outline. If you do this and then press and hold the left mouse button, I'm in the wrong game mode. Hang on a second. Very professional. And I can spell. Is it one or zero? Zero. Nope, because that is not how you do such things as these. Um, I just got a new keyboard and I'm not entirely sure how to use it. There we go, right. So yeah, let's try that again. Select the block, press and hold left, you can see it breaks and then it breaks and you pick up. This is a block of dirt. To place a block, you look at where you want to place it and right click. Ta-da! As you can see along here, this is your hot bar. Anything you get here you can place. And the rest of this is your inventory slot, which is where you keep any excess stuff that's not going to be on your hot bar. Um, so yeah, it's how to get started. Basically, you want to get wood first which is where these lovely trees come in handy. In a UHC you want to target the trees that look like this. These are oak trees, they drop apples. Apples are very important in the UHC mod because they're the one of the two ways in which you can gain health back. Because in UHC health regen is turned off which makes it the ultra hardcore mod. So we're just collecting a tree here as you can see we're collecting four and then five probably uh, wooden logs, oak wood logs and we're going to make them useful if you press E to open your inventory click on the oak wood logs and drop them into this crafting square you can see they're turning into oak wood planks if you click over them you've now got oak, a, load of oak, bleh, 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 a load of oak wood planks and we're going to make something with them. So, if you hold over each of the squares and right click to drop one of each, one of the planks in each of the squares, you can see this makes a crafting table. Click it and put it in your hotbar, it doesn't really matter where. And then go along to that slot in your hotbar and place it down. As you can see here, you've got a 4 by f uh, sorry, not 4 by 4, a 2 by 2 crafting square. If you right click on this crafting bench, table, whatever, it gives you a 3x3 three three square, which means you're able to create a lot more things. Okay, so first of all what we're going to do is we're going to make some sticks by creating that shape with the wooden logs and you get four sticks from that. We're then going to place two sticks like that and three pl planks along the top like that which will give us a wooden pickaxe. Wooden pickaxes are a very good starting thing, they're essential really, to pick up stone blocks which you can then make to make a better pickaxe. Stone can be found underneath the dirt blocks, so we're just going to make a little stairway down until we hopefully soon hit some stone. There we go, this is a stone block. So if you make sure the stone pickaxe is in your hand you can see it in the corner there then click and hold allows you to break it and then it turns into a cobblestone block 
If you were to try and break the stone block with just your hand, you can see it's taken a very long time. And wait for it. You don't get it. A block isn't dropped. So we want to get a few blocks of these. Because they're going to become very handy later on. You might notice on the right of the screen, here, some very interesting looking blocks that look like stone blocks with black squiggles in them, which is essentially what it is. These are coal ore blocks, and they, again, become very handy later on. They enabled you to give torches, which obviously allows you to see in places that would otherwise be dark, which is very handy. Uh, yeah, So we're going to make a better pickaxe now. Oops. I can pick up the things and swap it out for that. Stone pickaxes are, are faster at mining than wooden pickaxes. As you can see, that's faster. And they last longer. They have a longer durability, which is what the green bar... And secretary, which is what this green bar is here. Now we're going to collect some of this coal. You just mine it like any other block. And you can see it's dropped a piece of coal. We have now have two pieces of coal. We're going to mine the rest of these because, like I said, it comes very useful. You can also cook things, for instance, food, which is obviously quite important. Food helps keep you alive, just like in the real world. Eh, help if I could play this game. Yes, so we're going to go back up top. Now, ideally we'd like some food. Unfortunately, there is no animal around that will give us food. Horses do not give you food. And sheep, you can see the backside of a sheep over there. They drop wool, but not food again. So, we're going to make some torches. You do this by getting sticks. putting them there and then putting the coal block above it and it makes torches. Yay, torches. Very, very good. Now as you can see, the leaves of the tree that used to be here have all decayed. Some of them, when they decayed, dropped saplings. If you can't find coal, saplings can be very useful as a replacement than that. They don't burn for particularly long, but they're better than nothing. So we're going to chop down a few more trees. Actually, let's make an axe. Why not? We have the capabilities, so let's... Yeah. An axe. You just... For a lot of the things, you just have to place the box sort of logically. So you can see this does sort of look like an axe in the crafting table. We're also going to make a sword again. You can see the stick and two cobblestones does sort of look like a sword in the crafting table. You can see now I just got an achievement. Achievements in this game are not necessary to follow, but it can help with guidelines. So you can see it started to rain and it is also getting dark. Usually in UHC this would be a sign to get underground. However, as this is a new tutorial, I'm not going to worry too much about it. So axes, obviously good for wood. They're much faster at mining it. Obviously they give you the same amount of logs as just punching the tree wood, but it's quicker. And in UHC, time is of the essence. Also in UHC, you don't want to leave behind any marks so that other people can't tell where you are. So we're going to go underground here. This is going to become our little starting base. I'm going to put a torch down. You can see how dark it was. If you leave it too dark, the nasty creatures, otherwise known as mobs, will be able to spawn. And they will try and eat your face and kill you. There are zombies and skeletons are the two main ones, but you also have other things like endermen. We'd be all right in Enderman at this in this weather because we'd be all right at Enderman. We'd be all right with an Enderman in this weather because they do not like water, such as the rain. They will teleport away and 
be less of a nuisance. Okay, so we've got our little starting base down here, just making it look a little bit nicer and neater, because why not? So we're going to put our workbench back down in the corner so it's not in the way. And we're going to make a furnace. You get cobblestone and you just put it in a sort of ring all around the outsides of the 3x3 three three crafting table. And you can see furnace. You can see I've got another achievement which is to make a furnace. And then you just place the furnace by again, right clicking. I'm going to put another torch in this corner because it's getting quite dark. Okay, so unfortunately we didn't get an apple at the moment. We have left a few more trees to decay, so hopefully if we go up there in a minute, it'll be alright. If, if this situation ever happens in a UHC where you're stuck underground because it's night, you would then usually start creating a little dig down which is basically a stairway down. First rule of Minecraft, never dig straight below you. You don't know what's underneath, there could be lava, you could drop into it and you will burn and die a horrible fiery death. So a nice stairway down like this is fine. In UHC, most people that I know of tend to play with the rule no branch mining. Branch mining is when you dig down to the bottom of the map and then branch off from there in all directions hoping to find diamonds and such things as these. Like I said, usually that's not allowed. However, just mining down like this in the hopes of finding a cave is fine. You're also allowed to pick up any materials that you find along the way usually. People don't tend to mind if it's just by accident that you bump into a vein of coal or iron. But if you're branch mining down at the bottom, then that's not okay. So yep, this can usually take a while because most maps starting places are around the level 64. You want to, you, if you bump into a cave, explore the cave, that's fine, but all the good stuff tends to lie down at level 14. Level 14 and below is when um, diamonds spawn, I believe. I hope that's right otherwise I'm giving you false information. But you basically want to dig down as low as possible ho and hope that you bump into a cave. Make sure you light up along the way because not only does not lighting up mean that you can't see, it means that bad things could spawn behind you and again eat your face and kill you. And we don't want that because in your HC you have, you have one life. You're not allowed to respawn and rejoin your team if you die. You're out basically. Which is harsh, but an interesting gameplay that I personally really enjoy. Because it adds an extra difficulty layer to the game, hence the name Ultra Hardcore. And keeps things exciting. You never know you don't you never know what your spawn point's going to be like, you never know what factors you're going to encounter. You don't know if you're going to bump into a load of gold or no gold or loads of gold but no apples or loads of apples but no gold and other such things. You can see my pick is about to break. Oh the green bar is oh there we go is empty and now I'm without a pick. So we're gonna go back up the stairs bumping my head on the ceiling but luckily that doesn't hurt you in the game. And we're going to make another stone pick actually, I think. Actually, I think we're going to leave it there for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like, leave a comment. It's much appreciated. Every little helps, as they say in the Tesco adverts. I don't know if they still say that anymore, but they should. It's a good catchphrase. One that I use a lot, actually. Power of advertising. But anyway, yeah. Have a good day, and we'll see you all in the next episode.